Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I'm going to be taking a look at a couple of different things, but mostly looking at the battery and range of my 08X scooter. I'm starting my trip with 58.2 volts and I'm going to be doing the entire trip in gear 2. Gear 2 has a top speed of somewhere around 26 or 27 miles per hour. The reason I wanted to do this video, the tech specs on the scooter say that on a single charge in ideal conditions, you can travel up to 45 miles. Now I wanted to use gear 2 because like I said, about 26, 27 miles per hour, but that's kind of real world conditions. I use gear 2 more often than not. And so this will be a pretty good example of what the battery can actually do. If you've seen any of my other videos, this trail looks very familiar. Um, the entire trail is 8.3 miles from start to finish. I'm going to take a slight detour off of another trail, which is about three additional miles. And by the time I loop back and get to where I am, um, the total round trip is around 13 miles. My normal commute on the scooter is only a couple of miles, so I haven't really done an extended range test on it yet, and that's another reason why I wanted to make this video. I have ridden this trail from start to finish, but I haven't done this extended loop that I'm going to do for you guys right now. So I figured this was a good way to kind of get my feet wet without getting too far away and getting stranded and stuck somewhere that I didn't know where I was and couldn't walk back, which I can do from here. be honest with you guys if i ended up getting half of what the claim was of the 45 like 22 23 miles I, I would be stoked i can't imagine taking this scooter on a trip farther than 25 miles i mean it is definitely good to know that you could do that but uh, i mean that's far 25 or 30 miles on this thing so uh, we'll see what it does I, I do have some numbers at the end that i can kind of hypothesize on how far it could go and like i said earlier i am going to do a little bit of a farther range test but i just wanted to do something to know that i was going to be safe and, and kind of see what it could do so i've owned this scooter now for a couple of months and i've put just about 250 miles on it i have to say i've become very comfortable riding it i mean i do take it to and from work just about every day so I guess that is to be expected but uh, it's really fun it's become a lot more fun to ride it now than it was when I first got it for sure So I'm coming up on my first kind of checkpoint here. And what I'm gonna do is just see after this three mile trip, uh, what my battery is at. Um, this is the start of the trail. And so this is gonna be an 8.3 mile journey until the next checkpoint. So I kind of want to see in this three mile trip, how much battery I lost. So started with 58.2 down to 55.1. Still showing on the meter that it is a full charge. Um, I'm going to show you here in a minute why that isn't necessarily the best representation of how much battery you have because as soon as I took off it went down to 51, 52 if you can see the voltmeter there on the left. So who really cares what your charge is at when you're just sitting there because if you can't actually use it then it doesn't matter. Um, the controller and throttle will shut itself off at 41 volts so once you get down to 41 volts you pretty much lose power and can't use the scooter so I think probably would have to once we get done with the final numbers have to use a little bit of a buffer uh, as far as volts just to make sure that you don't hit that 41 volt point Now, since we are talking about the battery, I wanted to talk about a few things that I've noticed since I got the scooter. When I first began charging the scooter, it would always charge up to 58.8 volts. 
and as you saw at the beginning of the video a full charge was 58.2 volts now i will accredit that to a little bit of probably the battery management system that the scooter has on board um, a lot of times when you just take short trips and charge and then short trips and charge um, the computer kind of recalculates to the way that you're using the scooter so it is good to let the battery drain down as far as you can and then charge it back up maybe once a month or something like that um, in order to kind of reset that because uh, it doesn't always go down to 58.2. Sometimes when I'll do a long trip like this and then charge, I'll go back up to maybe 58.4. But uh, ever since maybe the first couple of weeks, I've never seen it back up to 58.8 no matter what I do. So in uh, about 250 miles I've put on the scooter, uh, I already have lost a little bit of capacity on the battery. And so maybe that goes to the way I'm charging it, the way I'm riding it. Um, or maybe it just goes to the quality of batteries that are inside of it. So uh, time will tell, I guess, to how much battery I'm going to lose uh, and how fast it's going to lose its capacity. But so far, um, you know, 0.4 or so isn't really that big of a deal. Um, and so hopefully it kind of keeps on the slow pace of only going down that that far. Something else kind of interesting that I've noticed about the scooter and the battery is how I ride it. And that's kind of what I mentioned a little bit earlier about reasons that the capacity has dropped a little bit is when I first got the scooter, of course, I had it in gear three and I was trying to just smash everywhere as fast as I could just to see how fast or what the top speed was that I could actually get out of this thing. And so I think that did put a little bit of stress on the capacity and cause it to drop slightly. I did start to notice it after just a short period of time that it wouldn't go up back to the 58.8. So that was kind of when I started dropping it down into gear two a little bit more often. And to be honest, I mean, 26, 27 miles per hour is plenty fast, especially for um, the kind of trail riding that I'm using it for. I do like to put it in gear three every once in a while and just kind of, you know, on some straightaways and just go 30, 33 miles per hour. It's super fun to do that. So I, I do st kind of stick in gear too, and that's kind of another reason why I did that for this video is because it's just more real world riding. Um, this is how I use the scooter, and so I kind of wanted to see what the battery could do uh, or how it would represent that. Rolling up on checkpoint number two here. So this was 8.3 miles. Um, since the last one. So once I get here, we'll take another look at the battery and the voltmeter and see what we're looking at. So down 51.8 from 55.1. You can see on the battery gauge itself, it's showing that we're just about half uh, to three quarters ish. So now we'll turn around and we're gonna head back. And you can see again, this is another good example from 51.8, we're already down into the 49 range. So we lose two to four volts right upon takeoff. So realistically, I think we're about closer to 49. And like I said earlier, 41 is the cutoff for the power point here. So um, that kind of made me a little nervous, uh, to be honest, because I still had about five more miles-ish to go. Um, and so uh, at first I was kind of concerned I wasn't going to make it, but uh, I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, I think probably the last thing I'm going to say about gear three is uh, it's very tough to gauge how far you can go. Um, what I've shown you already with just these couple stops is that as soon as I take off, I'm dropping a couple of volts from what the actual representation says. And so in gear three, it's even more dramatic. Like um, in gear two, when I'm at full throttle, I'm getting a consistent voltage drop of about 0.2 or 0.3 every couple of seconds. Uh, and it'll kind of fluctuate depending on, you know, turnings or whatever the case is. But it, it, in gear three, it's like entire volts that you're fluctuating up and down. And so when you're at full throttle, it's dropping volts like every few seconds. And then as soon as you take your finger off the throttle, then it jumps back up and so when you stop it's going to say you have like oh 56 volts left but then when you're on it um, the battery is draining way faster and so it's really tough to know if you're riding in gear three all of the time 
Um, when I'm going to and from work just a couple of miles, I can smash in gear three because I don't really care about the battery draining or not. But taking a long trip in gear three, trying to go max speed, um, you're not going to get very far. So last kind of observation uh, about the battery is that I uh, maybe about four or five miles in, I started noticing that I wasn't reaching that top speed for gear two of the 26, 27 miles per hour anymore. Um, I was usually getting maybe 24 or 25 was about the max that I was seeing. So once I lost maybe one, two of the five bars of battery, that's why I really started to notice it. And so that was really about after that first checkpoint uh, it is where I could really kind of tell. And that's really only if I was paying attention. It wasn't like super dramatic to where I was like, ah, this isn't funny anymore. I mean, it is only about three miles per hour, but it is definitely something that I noticed that once you're using it and kind of out riding, you are gonna not be able to reach that top speed. Um, but you know, not a super big deal, kind of also to be expected because you are using a lot of power with these batteries. All right, so this is pretty much the end of this route here. Uh, it ended up taking me just about 42 minutes. So I'm at, with a couple of stops, call it 40-ish. Um, and I ended up losing about eight volts this entire trip. So I went 13 miles, lost eight volts. So you can kind of guesstimate that uh, using the 41 volt cutoff point from, uh, from that there, if I went down to 50.2, uh, eight more volts would put us very close to that 41 volt cutoff point. So you could probably get maybe 26, 27 miles out of gear two. And I feel like that's really, really good still. Uh, like I said earlier on, it's 26 miles is a really far distance to go, especially on a scooter. I mean, one way, if you can get there, charge it up um, and, and then have that like for work or something, 20 miles commute, charge it and then back. Uh, that would be pretty cool actually, but let me know what you guys think if this was helpful uh, I thought it was really fun to actually do this video I ended up doing it maybe three times just to get all the footage for you guys, but uh, Hopefully it was helpful. Like I said, let me know what you think if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I would love to have you on board and please like this video and as always we'll see you guys next time